Ray Benz Raymond. Raymond Benzino. Let me holler at you for a minute, player. Seen the uh I seen the clip of you on Queen's Flip earlier this evening. And um I just wanna say on behalf of all the dribblers nationwide, I'm going to take the high road. And I'm going to tell you why. We can't do no beefing if you're doing bad, my nigga. You're doing bad. Let's talk about this for a minute. You was at the top at one point. You had Source Magazine. Shit, I'm going to even keep it real. You had a couple nice songs. I remember the one when you had your afro out. And you said, as far, when it comes to jewelry, man, listen. You remember that? And you was flashing your jewelry? You ain't got no more jewelry. You ain't had jewelry in a long time, my nigga. It's been rough since the source um, went belly up. And um, I understand your frustrations because I've been listening. And I remember you said uh, you got broke and somebody gave you a few pounds of weed. And that's how you landed at the Red Roof Inn with... Cavario, I just want to make this clear to you, uh, my nigga. It's not you. If you weren't the target of everybody's jokes, you want you weren't the target of everybody's irony. It wasn't you. You did one thing wrong. You was caught at a hotel with a blade. That's it. It had nothing to do with you. And people are gonna joke and make ridicule. Imagine if I got caught with RuPaul. Imagine if I got caught at a hotel with RuPaul. You're going to have hell explaining that shit. You got caught with RuPaul, my nigga. You dig what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, everybody has something to say, man. It, essentially, what we did was we we, we cashed you in. I'm going to tell you what this is about. Like, uh, for instance, when Alpo Martinez passed away and everybody made a video about it, that be niggas cashing a motherfucker in. You gave the internet and the online community... Um, some firewood you gave you gave the online community some firewood and it was when you compared yourself to uh, a blade couple you said if we were such and such Somerville that's something that black men just generally don't do I believe you half original man and that's all the reason why you better keep your motherfucking mouth shut before you get your fucking jaw broke, nigga. You old as fuck. Everybody know you on steroids. I work out, my nigga. I work out. There's no way humanly possible your body fat content can be that low without you juicing. It's very obviously you juicing. And not only that, you're aging terribly. You dig what I'm saying? You 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 50 percent melanin deficient. You 50 percent melanin deficient. So your motherfucking body and shit is breaking down, man. We see you a Botox situation. You are gonna be somewhere getting collagen and Botox um, injected in your face, lips and shit like that, trying to keep your face with some structure because you have original man now. You can catch all the attitudes you want. I'm telling you what it is. I don't want no problems with you. I don't want you to run up on me trying to jump on me because you're poor. You're poor. And we all know you're poor because you was in a red roof inn. Don't get mad. You had a personal decision. You didn't have to be in that motherfucking hotel. But you was there and you was there with RuPaul. And until we tired... We gonna crack jokes about it. That's just what it is. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you get the notifications. And um, follow my podcast. It's electrifying. Uh, Benzino, you ain't even got no money to put up a fight, my nigga. Like, you can't even... You don't got... You're poor. You told us you were poor. You told us that's why you were at the Red Roof. You was doing bad. Somebody gave you a few elbows. And you was trying to get down. Sucks to be you. That's a hell of a fall from grace after uh, being a pilot and being a part of one of the most uh, influential hip-hop magazines of all time. And uh, that video that you had, I think it was on uh, Special Delivery Remix with G. Depp and them. I know you had an afro and you said, when it comes to jewelry, man, listen, you ain't got no more jewelry. Man, listen, get a job. Ha, ha, ha.
subscribe to the channel, man. I'm out. Peace.